Good morning, everyone. Lawrence Fleming here on another... I'm going to call it a beautiful morning, but some may question that. The clouds are heavy to the point where you can feel the moisture as you're walking along. It's not raining. It's just kind of a mist. There is a storm coming, but it's a ways away. A couple days anyway. And I'm meaning that literally, not figuratively. Although there is a storm coming. One thing that I've noticed as I read the Bible, <clears throat> whenever there is a major event, like when Moses goes to the top of the mountain and he tells the people to stay away, there's an earthquake. When Jesus says it is finished and dies on the cross, there's an earthquake. There seems to be an earthquake at major events. We are seeing an increase in earthquakes around the world. <clears throat> There's a guy on, on YouTube. I don't know how to say his name, so I'll have to just post it up here later. He gives you the pictures of the USGS site with earthquakes happening around the world and he shows the, the plates and how they're all connected and how if you get one here it's going to ripple through to the other spot. <clears throat> Got traffic coming in, one going in and one going out. Well, a couple going in. I hope they're just coming back from breakfast. I always worry that my sight will get filled up. I don't have anybody across from me or next to me, and I hope it stays that way. So, I still think we've got a major earthquake coming in the United States. We certainly deserve God's attention. We're not following him the way we should. I need a new selfie stick. In order to make this work with the camera this way, if I did the camera the other way, it would be different. But by doing it this way, I only get about five degree angle on the camera, which means I stick my arm way out, I stick my arm way out and I have to hold it like that, vertical, to get this look. Otherwise, if I hold it in, you see this. This is comfortable. This is uncomfortable after a while. All right, I'll try to do this for a little longer, but... I have another selfie stick if I can find it. It doesn't have all the, it doesn't have the stand. See, this has a built-in stand too. Let me. Okay, so this one here, I can open the stand up and it can sit down and I can talk into it. But see, that's the only angle I can get with it in the vertical position like this. If I put it sideways, it's different. But then I can't hold it. So let me get this back in here. And on top of it, it doesn't hold my camera very well. <clears throat> because my camera has a case on it to protect it, my phone. And it doesn't work with that very well. All right. We've been seeing a lot of earthquake swarms. We're seeing movement in Hawaii at the volcano level. We're seeing other volcanoes come back to life that have been quiet for a while around the world. Let's see, yesterday or last night we just had, I think it was a 6.5 in Peru and a 6.4 in Japan on the other side of the world.
movement is increasing. Now, is it something going on with Earth, Earth, or is it something going on cosmically? Well, we know that there's been some more active sunspots and flares. We just found a, another gamma ray emitter, very powerful. With this new telescope we've got, we're finding stuff out there that <clears throat> we didn't know existed or we're seeing things clearer now so we know what things are. We're still learning. This universe is very, very big and very powerful. And God created it. So when our little earth has a minor earthquake, <clears throat> We can pretty well feel it. Hopefully, in areas that are prone to earthquakes, like California, and the San Andreas Fault that goes right down the coast of California, you know, in a little bit, but down the coast, and all the other fractures, because the Pacific Plate is pushing against the Continental Plate, that's why we have mountains. The only reason we have mountains is the plates pushing against each other. Or we have mountains because of volcanic action. Why we have the Hawaiian Islands out in the Pacific. And Japan and all some of the other islands, are they're all volcanic formed. Most of them a long time ago. In fact, the highest mountain in the world is... A volcanic mountain coming up out of the ocean. If you count the, if you ignore the ocean and go all the way to the floor of the ocean and count how high it is, it's the highest. I don't remember the exact height. I just know that, you know, we're not going to the Himalayas for the highest mountain. Technically, it's one of the volcanoes. I think it's in the Hawaiian chain, but in any case. <clears throat> I'm coming back to my seat that I've been at for some time. I've tried to keep showing stuff, but I keep trying to turn around and I miss things, so we're going to... That's where I've been sitting. And we've got our decorations out. I think they did something last night for the kids. I don't know. I don't I don't do anything with that. My live Halloween broadcast on Monday night. We're going to talk about Halloween. We may talk a little bit about other holidays that have been perverted by Satan. Christmas is another one. You know, pretty much all the pomp and circumstances around the holidays are pagan rituals. The way I look at look at it is if you have no idea what it is and you're doing it, I don't think you have to worry about it. Most of the world has no idea that you know Halloween actually represents, and I don't want to give away the, the story, represents a, I don't want to say Christian event because we didn't exist then, but an Old Testament event. <clears throat> Halloween does, and it was kind of taken over and perverted by Satan. He, can, he can't originate anything. God's created everything. All Satan can do is copy I am somewhat concerned about what's coming up and how much we're going to have to suffer through. I see things taking shape. I'm worried about some of my family in California. They're distant relatives, but they're still family. 
if they have an earthquake out there, a big one, it's going to be either a 7 or an 8. And if that happens anywhere near populated areas, thousands are going to be killed from it. I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to do another video on on the church. I just watched a video. I got I saw this on uh, Wretched Radio. I don't know if you've see, seen that, but these are Christians. You know, we're all wretches. And uh, so he did a video on the papacy and how each one, you know, from early on got to power. Most of them got to power by killing their predecessor and then going around and killing either Christians or Jews. If you added them all up, we're talking hundreds of thousands of people killed by the papacy, by the Catholic Church. And they're going to be responsible, it looks like, for many more if our false prophet comes out of Rome the false prophet and the harlot are going to be tag team killing people I hope we're out of here by then I believe we are <clears throat> but early on the uh, harlot is riding on the back of the beast now, I don't know what that means, but the beast is going to be here, but not visible, per se. Does that mean that he can come here in the first seal before we're out of here? It's possible. We won't recognize him, probably. We recognize the harlot, because <coughs> we can see what she's doing right now. We're about ready. Like I said, we keep slipping forward a little bit at a time while we see this monstrous tsunami wave around us. All these monsters are heading in, symbolic of our holiday, but monsters of world events. We're about ready to run out of oil, food, any other supplies that we need. <clears throat> Much of Europe is going to be without power. They're in the process of trying to retrofit some of their heaters to work with other types of fuel. Because they're not going to get it because Russia basically is after NATO. Russia's not going to be defeated. They can't be because they're part of the Magog War. <clears throat> and we're not part of the end time war, so we may be defeated. So be careful. If they launch nukes, how come it keeps changing? I know my face is reflecting a lot. It keeps adjusting. I have to keep looking forward. If they launch a nuke from a submarine, we're talking about seven, eight minutes. I don't think they want to do that, but I don't know if we're ready. I think all the world powers should be required to sit down and watch the movie War Games with uh, Matthew Broderick and Ali Sheeney and uh, Dabney Coleman's in it too and a couple others that I like, but I can't remember their names. Watch War Games again. <clears throat> it's old, it's dated. The MSI computer that he uses in his bedroom, I had one. So, although he has a fancy <clears throat> modem and speakers and stuff on it, I didn't have any of that. Early computers were almost too labor intensive to use. They're supposed to save us time back then, and a lot of them didn't. <clears throat> when I built my first computer, I had to write programs for it because you couldn't. There was no internet, 
and there was no, at the early times, there was no Radio Shack or any other place where you could go buy stuff. There was no programs. If you wanted a program, you wrote it yourself. So I did. But we're not in that age anymore. We're in the age where knowledge has increased greatly. The word can go around the world, especially with space age, SpaceX. We are in the end times. But watch war games because it shows the potential. And the computer answers the question, can we win a nuclear war? Not if everybody launches nuclear missiles, no one will win. comes another car. Like I said, I hope these are people coming back from breakfast. I already had breakfast. I had my coffee and everything. I'm doing cold meals right now. <clears throat> I didn't bring my table. And I haven't set things up on it. I can't I'm using my bin boxes as tables, but they're plastic, and I don't really want to set a... I've got a stove I could put up. I don't want to put it on that. I didn't bring my outdoor stove. So I'm just doing cold meals. Um, I'm not doing ice. Just doing grain goods, you know, peanuts, things like that. Still feeling moisture, but the big storm <clears throat> is still a couple of states away. We should get some of it uh, Sunday or Monday. I got to do laundry on Monday, so hopefully not all day. Watching the leaves fall. It's not as cold here. I think it's in the low 60s, maybe 64, 65. It's almost getting too, it's almost too warm at night to sleep. We get rid of our Indian summer here shortly, then it's going to turn cold, and that's when this world is going to be suffering big time. <clears throat> oh, and uh, I haven't mentioned this in a while because I thought it was put to bed, but apparently it's not. Two of the rail unions have declined the compromise from Biden. So the rail strike still a possibility. We're looking at the middle of November. It'll be right after the election. They've pushed it out so that it doesn't interfere. But it should be part of it. It should be everything that's going on should be tied around Biden's. I keep. I hope I don't get in trouble for mentioning his name. Tied around him like a bow. Our fearless leader. I still don't know who Geppetto is, so we got to figure that out at some point. And if you catch the meaning of that, then we're on track. All right. Everything that I've been talking about is still stacked up. Leaning in, maybe leaning a little bit further. You know how when you, I don't know if you've ever cut a tree down, but you do your normal things to, you know, cut the V out and you cut the back side at an angle and you come down and if you get your tree right it just starts going boom, boom, boom. and once it starts doing that you back away and just let it fall it takes a little while <clears throat> the closer it gets to being off center you know when it's vertical it doesn't do much but once it starts to come across then it gets faster we've got about 10 trees ready to fall on us Yep. And I don't know if they're <clears throat> if they're connected, they don't have to be. Each one will do destruction. Imagine a four or five foot diameter tree falling on your house. And there's like ten of them. 
I think we're going to see the final set of things take shape, coinciding with a major earthquake somewhere in the world. And if we get a major earthquake in the world, it will probably trigger a second major earthquake somewhere else. We see how this works, and I, I'll give you the link to this earthquake guy. Here comes a bike. I can get him going away. So anyhow, be stocking up still. We're going to have food shortages starting this winter. Massive ones. Comes more. One, two. I didn't bring my bike. My bike's kind of a cross bike. It's really meant to ride on roads. The gearing system is too crazy, so I'll wait until I get a, an off-road bike or whatever if I decide to get one. Everything is going to hinge around the elections. Our election, the Israeli election coming up, they have to have another one because the current party has collapsed. The outgoing or potentially outgoing leader there has signed a bill that's condemned Israel to massive punishment from God. They've given, it's, it's, it's a land for, they've been blackmailed again and they gave in. And they're saying, well, Biden pushed them to it. No. The far left leader currently in Israel didn't need anybody's help to sign this agreement with Hezbollah. They had to get it signed real quickly because the current leader in Lebanon, his term is expiring and nobody else wants the job. There's no country of Lebanon. There hasn't been since Hezbollah moved in and took over. It's Iran's proxy. And nobody can get them out. The only way to get them out is to go to war. And the only way to do that is to go to war and kill off a lot of innocent people. They, Iran fights like Satan would fight. He's really good. They put their missile launchers next to schools and hospitals and things. So if you shoot at them, you're going to hurt people. Israel has learned a couple of the tricks that they've used, like on Hamas. They do the knock bomb. They drop a little, I don't know what kind of device it is, but it makes a noise on the roof. And that's to tell you, you've got a limited amount of time to get out of the building. Now, it's not like five seconds. It might be like two or three minutes or five minutes, whatever it is, to give people time to get out of the building. This building is going to be bombed. And everybody knows what it means. <clears throat> and... They get out of the building, and then it's bombed and destroyed. Normal countries and people don't want to kill civilians. It's not necessary. It's the government. It's the leaders that are the bad guys. The Ayatollahs in Iran are the bad guys. The people in Iran are being arrested right now for rioting in the streets, and there are Christian missionaries there that are being persecuted and some of them jailed for spreading the gospel in Iran. The people know that this can't continue, that these madmen, who are probably demon-possessed, are leading this anti-Israel, anti-Western. Let's annihilate, every, annihilate everybody who's not a, a Shiite. That's essentially what it is. If we were to pull out and pull Israel out and get everybody out of there who's believing in God correctly, they would still be fighting because then the Shiites would turn back to the Sunnis and they'd be fighting again. That's what the Iran-Iraq war was for years. Okay.
I don't know that I have a whole lot to add to this um, scripture wise. It's just like I said, every place that something major has happened, there's been an earthquake. So I'm expecting a major earthquake in the next week or two. Major, seven or above. And if it hits anywhere near a population, many will die. I'm going to go back and continue doing uh, some work and research on my... How many people, how many... Millions, and it's unfortunate, how many millions have died because of religion. I don't mean Christians. Uh, killing people, per se. God doesn't kill people. Man kills people. Man influenced by Satan. Satan would kill off every human being on the face of the earth. Satan is responsible for the flood. He's also going to be responsible for the fire that's going to destroy everything. It's all his fault. I can't wait till we get through this time coming ahead of us. It's rough, but if we get through it, we'll have a new heaven and earth. And we'll be done with Satan forever. That is a glorious time to look forward to. Okay. If you've got a project to do in your house or yard, put it off. Unless it's essential. Put it off and go buy up food, other long-term storage stuff that you may need. I don't know how you heat, but I would expect heating issues in certain areas. I'm going to talk about this in my other videos coming up. Diesel is almost non-existent. We've got less than a month of diesel left, and there's no reserves. Our government is giving away or selling or using all of our reserves. They want us to not have anything to fall back on. They want us to die. Our government wants us to die because they're part of the harlot, and the harlot wants us to die. I don't want to go back that way. Let me go this way, but I may end up seeing people. Yeah, I've got people. There's someone pulling into a dump station. That won't be pleasant, so I'll go this way. I don't have a way to cut through to my camp easily. I walked out my camp through the brush to get to this trail. <clears throat> and I guess I can go back the same way. Okay. It's going to get rough. You better put your focus on staying alive, or you're not. Get your head out of the sand if you're one of those. It won't go away. If we go into a depression, it will be longer than the last one. And the last one lasted for years. People were doing anything they could. Everybody was working in any way, shape they could once they got things going. But it took years to dig out of it. Many people lost everything they had. Okay, is this my, my trail? Yeah, I think it is. There's my trail to get through. I don't see any other way to do this, so here we go. I'll take you with me. But it's a lot of ducking. There are no spider webs, because I already cleared those out going through the first time. Okay. Mine's the only camp that doesn't have a real trail. So I'm contributing to this one. All right. That's good enough for, for now. I don't mean to try to scare anybody, per se. God will take care of us. But there are certain things that you have to do to stay alive. 
you have to eat, and you have to stay above the environment. Nobody in their right mind would walk out into a blizzard in a t-shirt and shorts. Unless they were just going out just to prove they could do it and run back in. But nobody would start a 20-mile hike in a blizzard in a t-shirt and shorts and bare feet. Let's, let's go ahead and make it really bad. Would you do that? I wouldn't. You wouldn't survive. Let's make it, you know, 20 below why we do this. You'd be committing suicide because you wouldn't survive. Well, don't do it now. Prep? You're going you're gonna to need three to six months worth of food. Now, it doesn't have to be the best food. It just has to be edible. And you can ration food, but you may have to. People during the Depression... I was listening to uh, the lady that I just put the link up for. God, I'm terrible with names. The terror, but I don't remember her. Appalachian. God, I can't think of it. But she was talking about her, one of her grandmothers, how they would ration food. Their breakfast would be Biscuits and the interviewer, somebody asked, God, I can't remember, somebody asked about, you know, biscuits and gravy? No. He said, you didn't get gravy because you couldn't afford the, the meat. We're heading for that now. The train's running full speed. I can see the end. I just don't know how long it's going to get there till, till we get there. So if I am scaring you, prepare. You don't need a bomb shelter, but you're going to need some stores. Rice, beans, dry goods. But you're going to also have to keep them in a proper storage unit, proper storage uh, cold room or whatever you've got. I wouldn't buy all kinds of stuff to put in your freezer or your refrigerator. I would buy some short-term stuff for that, but what if your power goes out? You say, well, I've got a generator. What if you can't get gas? You go, well, I've got solar power. Well, that would probably work up to a point. But I would have multiple solutions just in case one goes out and the other one doesn't. If everything goes out, we're in trouble. I have long-term stores in my storage unit, but I was just thinking that I might want to move those over to my son's place because if the power goes out and I can't get in the gate, I can't get to my stuff. Satan's in charge of Murphy, Murphy's Law. You always got a plan for it. Okay. Be safe. But look out for your future. We have a free ride out of here, but I don't know when that is. But we're starting to see us get closer to the beginning of the final phase of Revelation, the start of the seals. Once the seal starts, the, the trumpets will be right after them. They're overlapping. And we don't want to be here for that. The sixth seal, a quarter of the earth dies. We don't want to be here for that. The sixth trumpet, the third, we don't want to be here for that. So once we start seeing the Antichrist, I don't even think we're going to see him, but we may. We may see him coming in, but I suspect we're going to see Satan and his angels first. They might, they might look like aliens. We don't know if we're going to see them. They just might look like a massive meteor shower. We may not even know they're there. They're spiritual beings. But he may want to come in pomp and circumstance. I don't know. We'll see. But be safe. Make sure your family is safe. And you can do that by storing up the essentials that you need.
Don't go buying 40,000 cases of toilet paper. Buy a couple hundred pounds of rice. Staples that you need. Okay, till we meet in the clouds. God bless. Check out this guy's website. He gives you a lot of updates on what earthquakes are happening around the world. And they are increasing. Remember the birth pains? Well, they're getting stronger.